Hey there everyone, today we'll do a review about the nice brand new Black Rebel 9780 which is right here. This is Rogers since I live in Canada. That's the best network we have here. Um, I live in Montreal for all the people who want to ask. This is the brand new Blackberry 80, uh, 9780, sorry about that. And uh, for all those who really want to know the difference between the Blackberry Bull 9780 and a 9700, those who don't know already, difference is um, one, there's two differences. First, the RAM on the 9780 is bigger than on the 9700, which means the 9780 could do more things uh, a lot faster and could do more, can open more bigger web pages uh, than the 9700. And that's about it. And the other difference is the trimming on the side around the phone. It's uh, black on the 9780 and it's chrome on a 9700 if you have it black. If you have it white, I have no idea. On the 9700, it should be chrome on the 9780, I have no idea. But since I have it in black, my trim around is black. And that's about it. And this is just a box that comes with it. Uh, those are my headphones inside. I have a... Um, there's the charger, obviously same charger as the Torch 9800 and there's this nice little case over here a little pouch or whatever the hell you want to call it uh, Blackberry it's uh, came free with the phone not really going to use that and also obviously the phone now as I was talking about the gold the, the black trimming sorry not the gold trimming that would be awesome uh, the black trim is all around you, those who are familiar with this kind of phones will notice that right away um, and it's running BlackBerry 6. Uh, the 9700 can also run BlackBerry 6, but you're going to have to update it. This one comes with BlackBerry 6, which is pretty cool. Now, um, we're not going to be testing any speed or anything because I'm connected on Wi-Fi and I have a few apps running. I have to uh, process this um, the best way possible, the fairest way possible. So we're just going to take a quick look around to uh, BlackBerry 6 and the new 9780. <coughs> You have a 5.0 megapixel camera right there with the LED flash, um, the BlackBerry logo on top, and the network logo on the bottom, which mine is Rogers right there. You have a full QWERTY keyboard with the trackpad, the BlackBerry button, the back button, the red phone button, which is like hang up or power button, and the green phone button, which should be answering a call or placing a call. Now, the cool difference with this is the home screen. The difference is to open the menu, it's a tray. It's just like the 97, the BlackBerry Torch 9800, sorry. Except this one, you don't have a touch screen, you only have the trackpad. So to open up the tray, you click over here, and you can go like that. Now you can also go from all to frequently used apps to downloads to media to favorites, I don't have any favorites and to all, I'd rather you always have it on all um, you can also uh, this is brand new, it's like on 9800 this is the um, I don't know, uh, the uh, the notification bar, that's what it is, sorry so you click on that and you have calendar, text message, BBM, everything. Um, over here you have the uh, profiles. Like on every other Blackberry over here you have the new search. Now search, say you want to search something. Um, what, are, what am I going to search? I'm gonna search, um, search Blackberry. Just a random search. Search Blackberry. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's written Blackberry. Now it shows up everything. Now you could have uh, help, Facebook, Blackberry App World, Blackberry Messenger, search Blackberry Podcast, search Facebook, search Blackberry App World, search Slacker Radio, and search YouTube. All right, now um, I'm going to cancel that. You have also the top bar. Top bar is just like you go on your, uh, you can manage your connections, mobile network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, turn all connections off. You could do that too. Uh, you can set your alarm clock from here. You can uh, set up 
your services and options, you have a few options over here. And that's about it. Uh, now the whole difference is text messages, you know, it's like iPhone. You can uh, you can go around and you could select a contact, say this, um, and you could see the whole conversation you've had with that contact. Just like that. Uh, contacts, not big difference, just a look. It's always been the same thing. Uh, music, which is part of media, but I put it in uh, there. Uh, it's a lot different. See, I want to put a song, a good song that everyone knows. Uh, let's put a good song. Here. Wiz Khalifa. You see the whole scene is different. You can go back, pause, stop, next song. You can click over here, which is, uh, the album. You can go click on the artist. You can click shuffle or repeat. And you have all your options over here. Alright, let's close that. You can view by all songs, artists, album, genres, playlists, and shuffle songs. And explore music apps, which is useless, I never used. Now, the biggest thing with the update has been the WebKit that comes with the browser on BlackBerry 6. Now, let's check that out. There it is. This is about it. It's uh, it's kind of like iPhone type, so it, it is the uh, WebKit that iPhone uses, uh, that Safari uses for their iPhone. And now we're just gonna Google. We're just gonna go check on Google and see. It's basically like this. It's a lot better than the old one. And you have your uh, address bar right here. You could just click there and type a new address or you can just go over here you have more options and if you go to the top right completely you click on that and you can manage your pages your tabs whatever you can close a, a tab you can add a tab a tab a page i mean let's go to uh gmail.com say google account google mail and you can go all the way back Say you forgot a search you were looking for on Google, and go back to Google. And if you want to close your page, well, you have that little X button right under. You just click on that and you close it, and it's done. It's about that. It works pretty much faster and pretty much better than the old BlackBerry uh, internet browser. Yeah, BlackBerry Messenger was basically the same thing as always. Basically, always the same thing. Uh, Facebook, that's another app. Um, your calendar looks the same, about, works the same, doesn't look the same, calculator doesn't look the same, but works the same, and that's about it, man, you guys have been right all the way through it, and that's about it, so, thanks for watching, I hope you guys, uh, like the new phone, and thumbs up if you like it, thumbs up if you have it, and thumbs up if you think it works really great. Thumbs up also if you think BlackBerry is better than iPhone. Now, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Peace out.